Alright, hello, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a RAM upgrade or install on a Lenovo IdeaPad 3. This specific model is actually the 15iiL05. And the first thing you want to do is just remove all 10 screws on the back plate. I went ahead and removed them and placed them in the same order and orientation that I took them out, so it makes it easy to stick them back in, and I make sure they all get back into the same slot, because some of them are different sizes. Then, what you're going to want to do is find a prying tool or something like this, and go around at the edge, up here at the top, and along all the sides, and just gently place it in like this, and then pry downward, all the way along. And then you should unclip all the clips along there. And once you've done that, you can remove the cover and so here you can see this is our um, slot for a hard drive if we had one or a uh, 2.5 inch SSD this is a fan and the heatsink and I assume the CPU to be under there somewhere this is our Wi-Fi card and here is our NVMe SSD and then of course the battery which is fairly easy access to if you wanted to replace it now over here you can see our RAM. This does have four gigabytes built into the motherboard. So if you had a four gigabyte idea pad, you would see an empty RAM slot here. But since I have the upgraded eight gigabyte RAM version, we have a stick of four gigabyte RAM. However, I still want a little more RAM than that. All right, it's two days later and my 16 gigabyte stick just arrived. So you can see here, um, this is a uh, 16 gigabyte stick of DDR4, that is 2,666 megahertz. So let's go ahead and get it out of here and install it and I'll boot it up and see what happens. All right, so I'm gonna start just by getting the old RAM out and releasing these two little latches onto the side. And then here you can see the uh, RAM is exactly the same size, which is good. And so let me just go ahead and slide it in like this and then press down and it clips right in. So there's three things that I think might happen when I uh, turn this on. Um, first thing is that the computer rejects this RAM for whatever reason, maybe I got the specs wrong or maybe it's because it's not the same size as the internal RAM and it might just default to the internal RAM and then I would only have four gigabytes and in that case, I would probably just go and reinstall the old RAM back in. Second thing that might happen is that um, this RAM would work as single channel RAM and it would recognize that the internal RAM and this uh, external RAM are not the same size and then it would automatically default to the larger one. Then the third thing that might happen is that the two could actually work together, giving me a total of 20 gigabytes with the four on board and then the 16 um, component. But I doubt that's gonna happen because I'm pretty sure they need to be the same size to work. So let's just go ahead and try it out. All right, so apparently whatever I read online was true was not true because these two RAMs are different sizes and they appear to be working together because it says up here we have 3.9 used out of 20 gigabytes capacity which is excellent, which means that my 16 gigabyte stick is actually working with the internal four gigabyte. So this was best case scenario. This should by far be a major upgrade and hopefully I will see a performance boost. So yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and get some use out of it.